Hello everyone, Scottish Lad here and today we're going to be reviewing a set of the World Youth Champion at 27 years old Kill Hand Luke Humphreys Red Dragon Darts in 22 gram Overall feel Feel not bad, for front grapples they'll be brilliant Let's just crack on with it Right guys, we've got a nice close up look to the Red Dragon Luke Humphreys that's, um, firstly I'd like to say I'm sorry about the lighting, I've done pretty much everything I can to try and remedy it. I don't know why it's still coming across as a bit iffy, but hey ho. Obviously as I just said, these are the Red Dragon Luke Humphreys darts in 22 gram. Not actually the darts he uses, he actually uses old Winmaw Simon Whitlock darts. And he's obviously known for using three different points in it, well, two separate sets of points. And I think it's two standard and one knurled that he can't get the knurled duck point out. So he's not even going to try it because he doesn't want to ruin the duck. But anyway, back to the Red Dragon model of his darts. These are 90% tungsten. And they only come in at 22 grams. So if you like a kind of shorter, kind of torpedo style dart, these might be for you if you're into 22 gram. The overall length from here, so the point meets the barrel to here with this Nitrotech stem. Meets the barrel is 43.3 millimetres. So it is quite your kind of short dart, it's a kind of Steve Beaton style, in my opinion. And the width at the widest points here, talking on these yellow rings, is 7.1 millimetres. Now, in terms of grip on these, as you can see, it's just square grooves. Most of the grip is at the front, so if you're a front gripper, it's going to be ideal for you. At the rear I found it quite slippy and obviously just down to how these grooves aren't cut very deep as you can see and at the front grip as you can see is pretty much bang on you can't really grumble with that as a front gripper as you can see it's also black titanium nitride coated with a yellow paint there and they come with black points as well which is always a bonus come with your kind of medium sized Nitrotech stems and these black and yellow hardcore flights, sturdy flights. I actually really quite like these flights. Don't know whether what it is about them, I just like how they flow. Look really nice. But overall, these will set you back £36.90 and get postage obviously on top of that. That definitely worth that value in my opinion in my opinion. But I for rear grippers, probably a no-go. Same for kind of your, probably your front to mid grippers for these. Rear grippers, I wouldn't recommend it unless you like a, not a very grippy dart. But I've gave you all the necessary information on these Red Dragon Luke Humphreys darts. Let's get them over to the board and see how we go. Right, well guys, here we go, the Luke Humphreys way the supplied setup, which is obviously that medium Nitrotech stem and yellow hardcore flight. For me, as a kind of rear gripper, I found these kept slipping. Probably could, it could just be obviously the heat as well, it was absolutely boiling here, you're talking about 25 degrees when I was thrown. But obviously, nonetheless, the grip still does feel really shallow at the rear. Front to mid is perfect for these, in my opinion. Obviously that taper at the rear is obviously really appealing for a rear gripper, hence why I thought I'd get them and review them. But for front to middle grippers, obviously a through front and middle grip as well, away from the review just to kind of get a feel for them. They threw quite well when I was thrown from the middle and the front, but when I was thrown from the rear they just kept slipping all over the place. But there's not really much else I can do about that, but I was just as bad with my match setup which is obviously my L style setup. A couple of kind of decent darts in there when I was throwing them but I'll obviously retry this and I'll do an update video in the future about these but the rear grip kept slipping I'll maybe wait until it's a bit cooler in the air and see what happens. Nonetheless it's a great dart for 36.90 from Red Dragon and it's obviously cool hand Luke Humphreys even though he doesn't use them he uses his one more ones that are actually Simon Whitlock's old ones but Obviously a torpedo shape, great for those of you who like that, 22 gram, it's the only way they come in, maybe if they'd done them in 24 and 26, kind of maybe 22, 23, 24, they'd get a lot more people buying them, but I was just about 
near the end of the throne section, so we're going to get ready to get wrapped up now, guys. There we go, guys. That was my review of the Luke Humphreys darts from Red Dragon and 22 gram. My overall opinion of these darts is for rear grippers. You've not got much grip. I mean, I'm, my fingers are sliding all over the place there. And for front grippers, you've got kind of better grip for the front. So probably more suited to the problem. Your mid to front grippers, especially with the barrel being so small. If you're a front gripper, you're pretty much perfect. Same with your kind of middle grip. Rear grippers, I just found it was far too slippy. And obviously that was with my own setup as well. I kind of alternated between the two. I suppose if I was to change a few things on them, it might make them better for me. For example, if I change the length of the point, because it's just your standard 26mm point, I usually a bit, use a bit, obviously, bigger. The Nitrotech stems, I don't know what it is about Nitrotech stems, I'm just not a fan. And the flights are perfect, I'd keep the flights. It would probably, if it was up to me, I would have put maybe a yellow Nitro, no Nitrotech, polycarbonate stem, just like a standard VRX stem in there. But it's just my opinion. Overall, other than the fact it's not a great dart for rear grippers in my opinion, it's got a very nice look I think, with that black and yellow, and it's your kind of Steve Beaton style as well, I'm just going to take this off just to show you it's easier. It's kind of tapered at the rear as you can see, so it's kind of your Steve Beaton style, kind of more suited to your front grip, but using front grip doesn't feel natural to me. All in all, it's a great dart for front to mid, as I said. And it's at a great price at 36 90 It's less than 40 quid, and most starters these days are kind of 40 quid and upwards. So it's a quite a good deal for these, in my opinion. And obviously 90% tungsten as well. You're kind of struggling to get decent darts like this these days. Obviously the coating looks more like a black matte coating rather than a shiny PVD coating. It feels really meh. No me, but it's a really nice dart nonetheless, regardless even though it wasn't good enough for me. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if there's anything you want me to review. Obviously it's a great help to me if there's anything you want me to review so I know what I'm reviewing, what I can get, rather than just buying odd bits here and odd bits there. But stay safe out there and keep on darting.